there. I'm Amy Connell. Welcome to the Graced Health Podcast. I am a certified personal trainer who wants you to know your eating, movement, and body don't have to be perfect. You just need to be able to do what you are called to do. This podcast is for women who want simple and grace-filled ways to take care of themselves and enjoy a little chocolate in the process. Say it with me. (laughs) Welcome to another episode of Ask the Trainer, where I answer questions you may have about either your movement or eating or how they work together in five minutes or less. Today's question is one that I have had to ask and research and figure out, which is, why do I have a headache if my urine is clear? So this is the deal. Back when I was running much more consistently, I would go on a a three-mile run, which was pretty moderate for me. Uh, In the summer, I would come back and without fail, I ended up in with a headache. I had consumed plenty of water, my urine was clear, and the headache I knew was related to running because I never got it for anything else. So I'm going to get a little geeky on you. I'm going to really try and wrap this up within the five minutes. And I want you to know that all of the data I'm giving you is from my certified nutrition coach training through NASM, which is also who certified me for the personal training. First, let's talk about how much of our body is comprised of water. For women, that is around 50%. For men, it's a little bit more closer to 70%. About two thirds of the fluid within you, so of that 50% um, of our whole body mass, about two thirds of that fluid is located inside individual cells, and that is called intracellular fluid. The majority of the remaining fluid of the rest of the water can be found in the vascular system, which is the plasma portion of your blood, or in the space between cells. Why am I telling you this? Because there are two electrolytes that are the primary factor that determines what space body at the water will occupy. So whether they are going to be intracellular fluid or extracellular fluid, I know I'm getting really geeky here. I'm sorry. But those two, this is where I'm going with this. Those two electrolytes are sodium, which is primarily in the extracellular fluid and potassium, which is primarily in the intracellular fluid. Now, sodium and potassium are both electrolytes, which I just said, but those are also electrons. And electrons, if you'll go back to your high school days, are um, units that have a positive or a negative charge. When your electrolyte levels get off, you're going to be out of balance. And in our body, when our electrolyte balances are off, One thing that can happen is, I'm going to let you guess. I know, you already know this. You can get a headache. (laughs) That's what can happen. There's a lot of different things. So what happens if you are working out really hard? How do you know if you're going to be losing a lot of electrolytes? Well, one thing is, are you sweating a lot? That may or may not indicate it. Um, But also, are you a salty sweater? How do you know if you are a salty sweater? Well, is your sports bra, and when it dries, does it have a crest of like a white ring? That's sweat you're salting. Same thing with your hat. I used to wear a black hat when I taught indoor cycling, and I would always have a white ring around it after after that hat dried because I am a salty sweater. Now, chances are you probably get enough sodium in your diet, but chances are you don't get enough potassium in your diet. That is one uh, nutrient that that in general, Americans are really low on. So how do you get potassium? Well, I recommend getting them from the foods that God gave us, including bananas, oranges, spinach, broccoli, potatoes, sweet potatoes, you know, those are my favorite cucumbers, pumpkins, those are all great natural sources 
of potassium. Now, obviously, listen to your doctor if he or she has recommendations for you, or if you have high blood pressure, don't go off and just start uh, drinking a bunch of pickle juice for your sodium levels to get up. Um, you know, listen to your doctor. But, but those that might be a simple fix for you if you are finding that you have headaches after working out. It might just be that you have sweated enough that your electrolyte levels are imbalanced. Balanced, try eating a banana and see what happens with that. Hey, if you have a question you would like answered here on this series, email it to me. It's amy.connell at gracedhealth.com. All of these links will be in the show notes. You can also head over to the Grace Health Podcast Facebook group join there and uh, and ask the question. Also, if you are over 40 and you are finding that you just need to work out a little different or your body's not feeling like it used to, I am really excited. In the fall, I am coming out with a video workout series of an ideal week of fitness over 40. I'm 45. This is something I do for myself. Go over to gracedhealth.com slash fitness dash over dash 40 and and uh, sign up to receive to be notified when that comes out. Okay, that is all for today. Go out there and